Question 3. Carolyn. The artist Mark Quinn has displayed behind glass plate biologically replicated fragments of Sir John Solston's DNA, calling it a conceptual portrait of Solston. But to be a portrait, something must bear a recognizable resemblance to its subject. All right, so let's pause right there and take a look at Caroline's statements here. Is this an argument or facts? And you notice it's a statement of facts that clearly leads to an obvious conclusion. Because her last sentence tells me to be a portrait, something must. And we know that must introduces necessary. So in order to be a portrait, it must bear a recognizable resemblance to its subject. So bear recognizable resemblance to its subject. Well, obviously, these biological replicated fragments of Solson's DNA are not going to bear recognizable resemblance to Solston. Therefore, this is not a portrait, right? That is Carolyn's point, right? That's what her statements obviously lead to. So now turning our attention to Arnold, I disagree. Well, disagree with what? That this is not a portrait, right? Because that's what Carolyn's statements are leading us to conclude. Quinn's conceptual portrait is a maximally realistic portrait for it holds actual instructions according to which Solston was created. So again, Arnold's conclusion is I disagree. And again, I disagree with what? And again, this idea that Mark Quinn's display is not a portrait. So now that we have this passage clear, we turn our attention to the question stem. The dialogue provides most support for the claim that Carolyn and Arnold disagree over whether the object described by Quinn as a conceptual portrait of Sir John Salston and again, you notice, disagree over. So this is a point at issue question. So again, we're looking for an answer choice that one of these people would agree with and the other person would disagree with, thus making it the point at issue. So let's take a look at A. Should be considered art. Do either of these people discuss whether this is art? And you notice, no, we're discussing whether this is a portrait, not whether it's art. So that clearly does not follow. We do not know Carolyn's opinion on that statement, just like we do not know Arnold's opinion on that statement. So A cannot be the point at issue, so A would be eliminated. Again, remember, point at issues are a type of must-be-true question. For this to be the point at issue, it must be the case, right? We must know what they think about this. And you notice in A, we don't discuss art in these statements. We're talking about whether it's a portrait, so A is out. Again, don't assume a portrait is art. That is not necessarily true. And again, we have no support for that in this passage, so A would be eliminated. Bringing us to B, should be considered to be Quinn's work. And again, is this about considering this portrait to be the work of Mark Quinn? No. We do not know either of these people's opinions on B, so how could B be the point at issue? B would be eliminated. C bears a recognizable resemblance to Solston. And you notice Carolyn clearly disagrees with this because how could biologically replicated fragments of DNA bear a recognizable resemblance to Sir John Solston? So Carolyn clearly disagrees with C. So what about Arnold? Arnold, you notice, we don't know what Arnold's opinion on C is. All Arnold says is, I disagree, again, disagreeing with the idea that this is not a portrait. And why? Because it's maximally realistic. Because it actually holds the instructions according to which Solston was created. Nothing about whether it bears a recognizable resemblance to Solston. So you notice the problem with C is we do not know Arnold's opinion of it. So C would be out. Bringing me to D, contains instructions according to which Solston was created. And you notice Arnold clearly agrees with D coming from the last part of his statements for it holds actual instructions according to which Solston was created. 
But the problem with D is we have no idea what Carolyn's opinion of D would be. She doesn't mention that at all. All we know is that these are biologically replicated fragments of DNA, and he's called it a conceptual portrait. So D does not follow because we don't know Carolyn's opinion of it, which will bring us process of elimination to E, and you notice is an actual portrait of Solston. Carolyn clearly disagrees with this because the contrapositive of her last statement is what she's invoking. This does not bear a recognizable resemblance to Solston. Therefore, it cannot be a portrait of him. So Carolyn would clearly disagree with E. And you notice Arnold's first statement is, I disagree. Disagree with what? Carolyn's idea that this is not a portrait, so Arnold clearly would agree with E. So one party agrees, the other disagrees, thus making it the point at issue, and E would be the correct answer.